Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from uh, GailRecommendsForYou.com. Some wonderful tools that will help you with your internet marketing. And the next tool that I want to show you is one that I've just had written called the WordPress Footer. And what it does is it adds either a banner or a video or an autorespond or whatever it is that you want at the end of every single post. You can also have it turn up on the other pages that you have as well, or you can turn it off and have it just on some pages it's a really really excellent tool and if I click on this particular site you will see how I've used it here now here is a post which um, I think is one of my posts that's coming and right at the end of it there's the footer there this is what's coming I've just used a little banner off the affiliate product that I am actually selling and promoting so there it is right there and if you look down the bottom, down the bottom here, you'll see that it goes to my affiliate link. And then, of course, on the next one, the next post that comes in, which is also one of mine, it's right there. But then you start bringing them in from other people's um, articles coming in on our auto blogs. And we want some of our information to follow through so that people can click on it and um, buy our products. And you'll note no matter what comes in, whether it's a video, whether it's a question from Yahoo, whether it's a article, whatever it is, that the banner follows all the way through. Now that's with the old WordPress footer. Um, Plugin. Now I have a new one that's even um, better than that one, and so I'm just going to show you how we use that particular footer that I've just had written for you, and you're going to love it because it's just so much easier to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to flick over, and I'm going to go into the dashboard here, and um, and I'm going to show you actually not there into here, and I'm going to show you how you can um, use it and get it organized. So first thing we need to do is bring in a picture or two. So we're just going to click on the pictures, and I'm going to bring them in. Okay, so what I've done is I've bought in two pictures, and most of you will know how to do that, so I don't need to show you how to do that. And if we click on to the visual side of things, you'll see the two pictures that I have bought in. And of course, what we want to do with them is once we have them in here, we want to actually hyperlink them so that we can, of course, get the traffic back to the affiliate product or whatever it is that we're promoting. So here they are, they're quite small and of course you would spend a little bit of time with them and make them a bit bigger. But anyway, we'll click on them and then what we would do is we would come up here to the hyperlink and we would put in a web address that we want to send people to when they click on them. So I'll just go ahead and set them up and, uh, and then show you what to do next. All right, so now we've got them all set up and I've actually uh, put the hyperlink. In other words, I've clicked them and I've clicked on the hyperlink and told people basically where I want them to go after they've clicked on them. And so what we want to do now is we're just going to save that as a draft. I don't want to publish it because I don't want people to actually see these. Um, these are just for my use. So we'll just save it as a draft and then um, we can come back to it later if we want to use them again. So that's got all that organized. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on the HTML and get the code from there. And then we're going to uh, upload um, the um, WordPress uh, footer into the back here into our admin panel. So let's just go do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is head over to the plugins and we're going to click on add new because we need to add this plugin in and it's pretty simple to do. And in fact, I've already installed it in, so I'm just going to show you very briefly just how we do this. And um, But most of you will know how to do it. So let's just get this done. So what we do is we click on the upload button and then we get it off our hard drive um, and we leave it zipped, okay? So when you download it off the internet, um, it stays as a zipped file. And then all we do after we've done that, and it's just flicked over to something else. So we'll go add new, then upload it. And then once we've uploaded it, found it where it is, uploaded it and activated the plugin, it's ready to go. So we just click on the upload and then it will come up once it's installed and we go um, add new, whatever it is there, and then activate. And then it's ready to go. And where you're going to find it is down here in the settings 
department. So that's where it will be and it's called WordPress footer. And so once we've opened it up there, let's have a look now. So we'll go down to settings and you'll see further down here that here it is here, WordPress footer. So all we really want is that code that we had before. So let's just get the code and we'll pop it in there. Now, of course, what I normally do is because there's two lots of code here, because this, my um, WordPress footer allows you to put in two lots of code here. Um, one here for one particular banner that you want to come up and another lot of code here for a different banner. And I think that's fantastic. That's what we want. We want to be able to have two different banners come up and they alternate from uh, each different post. So that's a very cool feature. So once you've copied and pay, copied the um, code, what I do with it, as I say, is I normally put it onto a notepad. So there's the two lots of different code. There's one and there's one there. And I just copy that um, off, the, off the WordPress and then I paste them into here. There's number one, there's number two. This also allows you to exclude pages. So if you want to use these on some of your pages, you can, but you'll read down here that you can exclude it off page one or comma two. You know, you just select down there. It's very easy to do. And then you just go save changes. And once you've saved the changes, it's ready to go. And uh, you'll see the difference and you'll see rather what happens now when we go and have a look at this WordPress blog. So let's just go look here check the site, see what happens when we have added the two different um, features here. So we'll just whip over here. Alrighty, so this is the very first blog post. I have no idea what these are about. It's just a test blog. And you'll see there's a very small banner here. As I said, you would play around with them, get them bigger. There's number one banner. There's number two banner down there, and then the next one will go back to the other one. So it'll just alternate between the two different banners, and that's pretty darn cool. Now, what you can do is you can actually add in there, if you want to, you can add in an auto an auto responder. So just to get people's names and emails, you can offer them a free ebook at the bottom of each of your blogs, or you could put a video in there, especially from you. There's lots of options available to you, a very easy easy, uh, really easy plugin that you can add into your um, blog post now so that your automatic blog posts are actually got something in there that will also help people buy from you. So if you just type in wordpressfooter.com, that's wordpressfooter.com, you will go to the WordPress footer page. Now, it could look like this or it might be a little different. And uh, there's the price. It's $9.97. So guys, hope you enjoy that. It's been fun uh, bringing this to you. So that's wordpressfooter.com. Go there, get it, and enjoy it.